Nice one, not a giant. What a jump. Let's get the party going. Let's get the party going, guys. Oh, gosh. Ah! Oh, no. So stupid right here. Exactly what it is. It's stupid. It's a stupid tube. If you look through the seasons we've shot Zona Show, uh -huh. we have cracked uh -huh. that behind wow. with the tube, right? Wow. Golly, what a day, man. Big fish today, guys. Boy, those are chubs, man. Right on. Got him. But there's a little Midwest gig that's kind of, it's got tentacles, right? It's got tentacles that go out called a stupid tube. You could remember years ago, my buddy Terry McWilliams from the Federation in Indiana going down to Lay Lake and almost winning the Bassmaster Classic on Spotted Bass on Lay Lake. And here's why it's called a stupid tube. It's because it's stupid when you look at it, all right? The usual way you rig a tube, gang, you put the lead head up in a tube and it looks just like that, right? Okay, here's the difference of a stupid tube. You're gonna take a Trocar weedless extra wide gap hook. The whole beauty is in the gap of that hook right there. You're gonna go through the bottom of that tube with the point of the hook and come out at one o'clock. Or I guess you could say 11 o'clock. You're gonna take that point out of the head of that tube and then you're gonna slide the lead up over the eye of the hook and watch this. Boop, boop. We just came through the plastic and here's the whole thing. You're gonna pinch it down and just slide that hook point all the way to where it's exposed. And as you're looking at this bait being rigged, here's what's amazing about it. This bait rigged this way comes through everything. Look how long that bass is. Long, lanky one. I shot a show up on the north side of Lake Michigan this year. There were hundreds of smallmouth. I have come to this flat to catch them all. <laughs> hundreds of smallmouth in reeds, broken rock, sand, and grass mix. There is not a bass boat anywhere. And what was great about it is we were showing them a bait that notoriously would get hung. Now, some of you are saying to yourself right now, just use a bullet weight and, and a wide gap hook. What's interesting is, I, I know this is gonna sound nuts, but if you throw this, if you throw a stupid tube, you know it falls different, it acts different, it, it, it has a different, it kinda has a different motion in the water. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Man, he'll play this game. It's a big one. That was the one thing, and that, you know, when we show dirt. That is a big one. I was using, I was able to use big lines, like 15 pound of Brazex, and I mean hammer them when they bit. Come here. Come here. We are done. Wow. How about that? <laughs> Top dead center. Go be free with your friends. Go be free. Free! If you fish pressured bodies of water, if you fish bodies of water with, with a lot of cover that an open hook tube would get caught up in, try a stupid tube. It has a different action. That's the dirt I got. Do me a favor, hit like and subscribe and uh, hit that little notification bell. Get that buck right there! Dadgum shooter buck!